Is it possible that what was once a domain dominated by superpower nations has now become accessible to private companies? As we approach 2024, this question becomes increasingly relevant in the context of SpaceX and its Falcon family of rockets. The Falcon 9, in particular, has been a crucial player in changing the landscape of the commercial space launch industry. Historically, rocket launches were complex and expensive endeavors, largely undertaken by a few nations with the technological and financial muscle to venture into space. This exclusivity changed with the entrance of private sector innovators like Musk and his company, SpaceX. Especially, the Falcon 9's impact on the industry cannot be overstated. It has significantly reduced the costs of launching into space, primarily through its reusable first stage, a feature that was once considered unfeasible. The conception of the Falcon 9 rocket can be traced back to the visionary mindset of SpaceX's founder. Musk, driven by his ambition to make space travel more affordable and sustainable, introduced the idea of a reusable rocket. This concept was initially met with skepticism and doubt within the aerospace community. The idea of reusing a rocket's first stage was considered impractical, if not impossible, by many experts. Musk's persistence and innovative spirit led to the development of this groundbreaking technology. The Falcon 9, named after the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, and the number 9 indicating the number of engines in its first stage, has undergone several iterations and improvements since its inception. Its design has revolutionized the space industry, primarily through the introduction of its reusable first stage. This reusability aspect was a significant leap in reducing the costs associated with space. The Falcon 9's first stage has achieved an impressive record of over 100 successful landings. Despite facing many initial setbacks and failures, SpaceX persevered. One notable instance was the explosion of Falcon 1 during its first flight, which was a significant blow to the company. However, these challenges only fueled SpaceX's determination to innovate and improve, leading to the eventual success of the Falcon 9. In addition to the Falcon 9, SpaceX has developed the Falcon Heavy, a derivative of the Falcon 9, but with increased payload capacity. The Falcon Heavy at the moment is preparing for another leap in space technology, offering new possibilities for missions beyond Earth's orbit. Moreover, the financial success of the Falcon 9 has been instrumental in funding SpaceX's ambitious projects, notably the development of the Starship. The Starship, an advanced spacecraft designed for missions to Mars and beyond, represents the next step in SpaceX's vision for space exploration. The development of such an ambitious vehicle requires substantial investment, which has been made feasible through the revenue generated from Falcon 9 launches. As a configuration that combines three Falcon 9 first-stage boosters, the Falcon Heavy is currently the most powerful operational rocket in the world. It can carry heavier payloads to higher orbits and beyond, including missions to the Moon and Mars. The upcoming USS F-52 mission, carrying the U.S. Air Force's X-37B space plane, is a testament to its capabilities. Originally scheduled for December 7, 2023, the launch was postponed to December 10 due to constraints at Launch Complex 39A and shifting schedules. This mission will be the first time the X-37B orbital test vehicle is launched on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. In 2018, SpaceX secured a $130 million contract from the U.S. Air Force for the USS F-52 mission. This contract covers launch vehicle manufacturing, spaceflight worthiness activities, integration, and launch operation support. The Falcon Heavy, being the most powerful operational rocket in the world, allows SpaceX to undertake missions that were previously beyond the capabilities of its Falcon 9 rockets. Moreover, the success of such high-profile missions further cements SpaceX's reputation as a reliable and innovative space launch provider, potentially attracting more contracts and opportunities in the future. SpaceX's achievements in the space launch industry have already been remarkable especially in terms of the number of launches conducted. In 2023, SpaceX is on track to hit a milestone of 100 launches for the year. 
This is a significant increase compared to the record of 174 orbital launches they accomplished in 2022. As of early December 2023, SpaceX had successfully completed its 90th orbital launch of the year, which was a Starlink mission from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. This mission brought the total number of satellites launched by SpaceX in 2023 to 1,871. Competitors and other entities in the space sector are now facing the challenge of matching SpaceX's pricing and launch cadence. This change in the market dynamics where SpaceX is capturing a large share of global launch contracts is a testament to their innovative approach, particularly in the development and implementation of reusable rocket technology. The Falcon 9 rocket, which has been a workhorse for SpaceX, has played a critical role in enabling this high launch frequency. It has been used for a variety of missions, from deploying Starlink satellites to sending astronauts to the International Space Station. Starship, also funded primarily by revenue from Falcon 9 projects, is gearing up for its third launch. SpaceX, with its upcoming third launch of the Starship rocket, is preparing to undertake a significant step. This test flight, expected to occur in December 2023, comes after SpaceX's successful completion of its second Starship flight last month. Although this previous launch did not fulfill the entire mission objectives, it marked a crucial progression in the development of the colossal rocket, further cementing SpaceX's reputation for rapid and ambitious advancements in space technology. Musk has indicated that the hardware necessary for this third flight should be ready within three to four weeks from late November 2023. However, the final launch date hinges on the acquisition of a launch permit from the Federal Aviation Administration, which is currently reviewing the outcomes of the preceding mission's failure. Musk's approach to SpaceX's projects has always been characterized by setting bold and challenging targets, a strategy that has been evident in the Starship program. A notable aspect of this third launch is the planned demonstration of a propellant transfer, as revealed by a NASA official. This demonstration is a critical component of the mission and involves transferring 10 metric tons of liquid oxygen between tanks within the Starship rocket. While this test will not include a rendezvous with another tanker rocket, it is a vital step in advancing the technology and capabilities of the Starship. NASA, which has been closely monitoring and supporting the development of the Starship, considers this test to be a significant progression in maturing the technology needed for future deep space missions. A successful propellant transfer would not only validate the technological capabilities of the Starship, but also push the rocket beyond the benchmarks it has achieved thus far. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.